is a 1959 Gibson LP Junior, three-quarter scale with the hang tags in the original case. And um, you can see it's really in phenomenal yeah, condition. Beautiful. You got a 68 uh, EF. Oh, oops. But these yeah, are like, weren't these ones, uh, a lot of the, the Gibsons, that they had a lot of these Gibsons that were like student models. They were actually that really nice model. guitars. Yeah. yeah. And that was a student model, that's a collector's right there. Actually. Yeah, and you saw the hang tags on it. So yeah, again, so it really adds to the value of it. The origin, the machines are original, the nuts are original, frets are original, everything on it is straight. There, there's no, this is not a story uh, guitar. It's, a straight, it's about as straight as a vintage piece can get. And um, I think we're, this one's, what, 9,000? Yeah, let's guess the reason, because it's the three-quarter scale. You know, a lot of people, a lot of collectors are looking for a guitar with a full scale. Mm -hmm. Not many are out there, you know, looking for a three-quarter scale. So it could affect the value a little bit because it's a harder sell on the market. This is a 1940, uh, 40s K arch top. But that's it's okay. It's in great. It's in really, really nice condition. Now these some these are tricky guitars to buy. I or I found them. They sometimes they look great and they're murderously hard to play. Right. We did or a neck reset on that one. It's right. very easy to play now. Most yeah. of them have a that a lot of situation. them will need a, a neck reset after time. Because the, the like after they're older and the, the joint gets and the neck gets all yeah. goofy on them. Pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Tension. Just. But time, that's a beautiful tension. one there. What what you, I mean also there's confusion over the models and. Because they made the, the, you know, at least to me, yeah. <laughs> there's confusion over the yeah. models. Yeah, a lot of times, either the ink stamp will have faded inside the F hole or some other, something else happens. That, that one, we're lucky enough, the model's in there and everything. Right, right. Say, uh, that's but, an N1. An N1? But, yeah. but a lot of them, you know, you may have. But really, that's a nice you, through, the, through the specs, beautiful. through the specs, either through the dimensions on the, the hips or the shoulders, the scale length, uh -huh. you can you can tell, you know, the error and the, the, the yeah, type so of the K is one of the few ones where you can't actually date it, man. If you even go on the internet to try to match that, you can see everybody says 40s or 50s, so they didn't keep a lot of their, of their models back then. Yeah, I just, they also, didn't they make for other, the, the same yeah, guitar and they yeah. put other names the on them? And all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. people made it for them, they made it for other people. All the places I've stuff. gone into in different places, like, you know, Nashville has a different care. I mean, I was in groomed guitars and it's like, you're upstairs at Gruen Guitars, and the guitars cost more than a house. Yeah. I mean, they're three hundred thousand dollars and things Gruen like that. Gruen has two of our guitars. Yeah, yeah, on display there. Randy Wood, a '70s Randy Wood, and uh, and another one. I think one second Martin. I don't know. It seems like different places in the country. Like you're in Atlanta in a shop, or you're in some place, and people come in with different sorts of guitars. Yeah, yeah. Like, we sent the Randy Wood up to Gruen because it would sell. It has a it has a better potential of selling out of that area than down here. No one down here really knows of Randy Wood, the luthier. But, uh, but up there in the country circles, people do, so. This is a 1968 ES330. And uh, this is a, a rarer model because it has a longer scale uh, neck. And you can see it's in really, really phenomenal condition. Beautiful. Sometimes it doesn't come across exactly when the, the guitar would have how really nice they look on the video. This right. A super looking guitar. It, it is. It, it has a couple of little nicks here and there, but again, for a 68, it's really nice. It would really almost really make nice you nervous piece. if it didn't have a couple of nicks in it. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, but, but really, I mean, I've, we've seen a lot of pieces that are really clean, and those are for the real severe collectors. And But even, again, the, the amount of, of wear that this has for, you know, 40 year old. Guitar it's is pretty, yeah. It's yeah. not bad. It's not bad at all. You know, the binding is still there. You don't see separation. No frets are lifting. And so, again, uh, if you just check it out, you pl really, when you play it, it'll tell you a lot uh, about the guitar. But everything on it, most of the time, you'll be able to look and tell if it's straight or not. You always want to check inside the F holes, make sure there's no, you know, repairs underneath or anything like that. And this one is uh, is currently on online for sale on eBay. So, and what do you sell that one for? I mean, what would, uh, what? I, we're asking thirty two fifty. Yeah, that's which is pretty reasonable yeah. for it. So, um, uh, the other collectible pieces we don't even keep in here. They're too high end. 
Right. Uh, you don't want really anyone touching a ten or fifteen or twenty thousand dollar guitar. Right. right. Nobody's nobody's gonna walk in up the street generally and go, oh, I want that either. Sometimes it happens, but not often. Not often. Right. Usually with the high end pieces, they're they're it's the show. It's at the shows. And this one we just sold, and uh, to a gentleman in Chicago. Oh. He's actually opening up a little store there, so he bought this one out of our collection. Um, and this is a 83 Elite Gold. They only made these, what, 83, 84? Yeah, it's an 83. Yeah, they only made these for two years, and you could see on it that there's not a hair, maybe a hair. That's about <laughs> it, though. There is no wear. There's no wear on the frets. This guitar really has never been played. It was, it's always just been in a case. It's all original, the gold hardware, and you could tell how, one of the ways you can tell how pristine it is, is by the absence of any real corrosion on the hardware, on the gold plating. It's always gonna tell you, it's always gonna be a telltale sign. And uh, this used to be white, and it yellowed really nicely. Mm -hmm. It's the way you like to see it. Uh, if you're a collector, we, we will take newer gear. We don't we don't discriminate when it comes to whatever gear we get. But you know we ran run the the gamut of vintage up to stuff that was bought last week. It also seems like a place where folks could come in if they're trying to upgrade their stuff, maybe get a different sound, bring their stuff they've been playing with that's decent in. Right, and, right. Or downgrade. Know, or downgrade. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs>